In this video, we demonstrate how to perform the Bradford assay to measure the concentration of protein in the cell and tissue lysates to be analyzed. The concentrations are necessary to ensure that equal amounts of protein from each sample are incubated onto the antibody microarray. Allow the Bradford stock reagent to warm slowly to room temperature. Turn on the spectrophotometer to warm up the UV lamp. Ensure the wavelength setting is adjusted to 595 nanometers. Set up and label glass tubes for measuring protein levels in the protein standard and in your test samples. We use bovine serum albumin or BSA as the protein standard. Prepare a series of protein standards in duplicate and dilute with phosphate buffered saline or PBS so that the final concentrations are from 0.1 mg per mil to 1 mg per mil. Prepare at least two different dilutions of your protein samples in duplicate or triplicate and dilute with PBS. Make sure to record the original volume taken from each of your samples. Add 5 milliliters of stock Bradford reagent into a separate set of labeled tubes. Transfer 100 microliters of the BSA standards and 100 microliters of your test samples into a tube containing the Bradford stock reagent. Mix by vortexing for a few seconds. Allow the tubes to incubate for at least five minutes at room temperature. We recommend taking measurements of the protein concentrations within 30 minutes. Calibrate the spectrophotometer with a blank control that contains the Bradford stock reagent with 100 microliters of PBS. Record the optical density readings obtained for each standard and test protein sample. Keep the outside surface of the curvette clean and moisture free. Using a graphing program, enter the absorbance values for the protein standards versus their concentrations to generate a standard curve. From the standard curve and the known volume of your test protein samples, compute the extinction coefficient and calculate the concentration of your test samples. You will need to set aside 50 micrograms of each sample to be analyzed with the CAM antibody microarray. 